Let's check in with meteorologist Alan Rose with a look at our weather because we know overnight it really kind of snuck in on us. Alan, I woke up to several inches of snow on my car. Yeah, and I like what you said, a tale of two cities, and that's within just El Paso and Pueblo counties, parts of the southeast plains. Some spots seeing hardly any snow or no snow at all. Some waking up to this. This photo sent in by Leslie Trujillo, Powers and Bradley, picking up about six inches of snow there. That's what that measurement is showing. Also have a few other photos that I'm working on. If you have any photos, or videos you want to show me as you're waking up this morning and joining us here on News 5 today. I'd love to see it. Send the weather team an email weather at KOAA.com. Now security came in with a five inch snow total. The Springs Airport about two inches. Monument 1.3. Pueblo and Penrose one inch. Walsenburg down south picking up about five inches of snow. Most of that falling around the mid to late afternoon hours back on Tuesday and this morning road conditions map does show some of that snow coverage extending from El Paso County into parts of Pueblo County and the Arkansas River Valley. Not all areas are seeing snow covered roads, but in some spots, especially our side streets and neighborhoods, they're likely icy in some areas. And if you are encountering that as you head out the door this morning, make sure that you're going to give yourself a little bit of extra time to get to work or get the kids to school. Other story this morning with that lingering moisture in the air, Fog. We're seeing some fog and freezing fog reports across parts of the eastern plains here in El Paso County, Pueblo County as well. Cold as you head out the door. So you want to layer up on this Wednesday morning. We are at 15 degrees in Pueblo. It is 20 in the Springs, 10 in Monument, all the way down to two, practically below zero this morning out towards Lyman. So for that Aaron's forecast, again, use caution early because it will be icy in some spots, especially South Springs. We'll see snow melt sunshine by the lunch hours. That fog burns off chilly highs today, topping out in the mid forties and it's going to be cool today. Highs running about five to maybe 10 degrees below average on this Wednesday, but warming up as you make our way towards the end of the week as high pressure builds in from the south. Now that's going to also cause an increase in wind as that combats a develop area of low pressure out to our west and that unfortunately brings back the high wind and the high fire danger threats as we head towards the upcoming weekend. All right, take a look at your highs today. Most of us warming into the 40s and 50s. We're going to be cooler than yesterday, although yesterday afternoon was cold. We saw all those highs, those warmer temperatures earlier in the day back on Tuesday. So today's high 45. We're up to 60 on Thursday. 66 on Friday with strong breezes and then the wind really ramps up in intensity on Saturday gust here up around 40 to 45 miles per hour. Also a windy midweek power. I should say middle of the seven day forecast here in Pueblo with strongest winds Friday through Sunday potential for some showers Sunday night doesn't look super exciting at this point, but that's still a few days out. Canyon City, we have warmer sunshine Thursday to Friday highs through Saturday up around 70. So a couple of warmer days before we see our next cold front move in on Sunday and for Woodland Park warming to the 50s on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Wind the big story as we approach the weekend, with the potential for snow late on Sunday.